What is going on guys? Go record, bring out the Black Ops 3 video. This guy sucks. Holy shit. <laughs> and recently I've had a couple of people notice that my audio quality has been actually pretty damn good. And I've had a couple of people tell me that, hey, did you get a new mic? Because your audio quality is pretty good. And recently a lot of people have actually noticed that my audio quality has significantly improved. I actually did get a couple of people ask me if I got a new mic, and yes, I did. Take a look at how big this shit is too. I got a couple of Razer products and I honestly have been in love with the company. So I ordered my mic about two weeks ago and it actually only took like three days to get here. So I got it last week and I gotta say that shit's pretty damn big. I was honestly so tempted to make a dick joke but I decided not to. And honestly this shit looks like a giant ass dildo. Take a look at that. Looks like a big ass dildo to me. Like that shit came in the mail and the first thing I ended up was like damn that shit's big. And speaking of big I actually do have a pretty funny story to tell you guys. Yo, where the fuck am I getting shot at from? Oh my god, there he is. Come on, come on. There we go. So today's story I have is actually a pretty funny story from summer camp. This happened a couple years back. So I used to go to this camp called Camp McConnell. It was a sleepaway camp. So basically, I'd go up to northern Florida, a place called Micanopy, and we'd have to stay there in cabins in the middle of the woods for three weeks. It was honestly the funnest thing I've ever done as a kid. And at that camp, there's different cabins. There's, you know, boy cabin number one, girl cabin number one, and so on, boy number two, girl number two. And then they have, you know, the dining room, and then they have the activities office and all this different shit. And at the very end of the land, there was the nurse's office. Now, I'm not gonna lie, our nurse was a little crazy. She was one of those, like, natural remedy witch type of nurses if you know what I mean I mean she was a nice old lady but she was just you know I think she was a little cuckoo in the head so one day I really wasn't feeling that well you know I was a little nauseous I wasn't feeling at my best so I went to the nurse's office and she told me to take this natural remedy she gave me like some berry extract or something to put in the water and then I drank it and now I had no idea that shit is like taking prunes up your asshole 45 minutes later all you hear from me <laughs> I fucking start passing gas constantly. And to make matters worse, I hadn't taken a shit in two days. I don't know what I was, but I was just a little constipated and I couldn't take a shit. And now, on average, I take some big ass shits. I'm the type of nigga that can clog a toilet without any toilet paper at all. Should I do it? I'm gonna do it. Oh, I picked up a double. Split quad, holy shit, I just got a split quad. Oh my god. God damn. Hold up. I'm fucking going nuts! Where was I? Oh yeah, clogging toilets without any toilet paper. Yeah, my shits are literally that big. That shit looks like the bottom of a fucking... Where's my Sperry? That's what my shit looks like. The bottom of a goddamn Sperry. So I remember sitting on her toilet for a solid 45 minutes trying to take a shit. Can't beat that raw run. So whatever the fuck she gave me, that shit made my poop come out like a damn stream of lava. And finally it stopped, but it was it was disgusting. It was it was absolute like terror movie. I know that I have the capability to clog toilets, so I always, even when I take a normal piece of shit, I always flush before I wipe my ass and put a toilet paper in the toilet. But the fact that I took a massive shit and the fact that those toilets were many years old, it just, it didn't want to go down. Right when I thought the water was coming down with the shit, the shit would just pop right back up. So yeah, I was basically forced to grab the plunger and for about another 30 to 45 minutes, I was stuck there. Plunging out the toilet, but the most embarrassing part about it was the fact that every single person in the camp knew I guess the word spread somehow and yeah everyone knew So lesson learned from me I take half my shit flush the toilet and then take the other half of the shit Anyways guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video if you guys did enjoy don't forget to leave a like leave a comment Hope you guys enjoyed this embarrassing slash funny story. It's been your boy Cole Rex and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace Hold up